Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers, which is India's best and most affordable CAD coaching. Now, before we discuss the solution for the question, here are few steps every serious CAT aspirant should follow. It will help you a lot in your preparation. Other than this, students, if you want to receive notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges and different exams, please fill the form given in the description. Other important links are also there in the description. So let's come to the question now. I hope all of you have given it a try. So students, now I hope all of you have read the question carefully. So for apples, I'm using variable X. For oranges, I'm using variable Y. And for mangoes, I'm using variable Z. So what they are saying is that twice of X plus four times Y plus six times Z. Okay, iski jo cost hogi, it will be equal to one apple, four oranges, and eight mangoes, which is further equal to a basket of eight oranges. That means eight times Y, seven mangoes, so seven times Z. Okay, so students, now here we have three equations. So first of all, let us take the first and the second equation. Now, if I use only the first equation and the second equation, you can see 4y is common to both. So 4y gets cancelled out. We'll be left with x is equal to twice of z. So this is our first relation when we have used the first two equations. Ko use kiya hai. Similarly, if I use the second equation and the third equation, okay, if I use the second equation and third equation, and I'm putting x is equal to 2z. So if I put x is equal to 2z, 2z plus 8z would be 10z. So 4 times y plus 10 times z will be equal to 8 times y plus 7 times z. Yaha se mare pas y or z ka relation a jayega, which comes out to be 4 times y is equal to 3 times z. Now students, just see here, we have a relation here, x is equal to 2 times z. Here we have a relation 4 times y is equal to 3 times z. z is common to both. So let's try to make coefficient of Z same in both the cases. So if you have Z ka coefficient same karna hai, I'll multiply this by three. I'll multiply this complete equation by two. So from here, I can say that three times X is equal to, now three into two Z is six times Z. Two into four Y, that would be eight Y. Okay, so ye tino apas me barabar hongi ab 3x is equal to 6z is equal to 8y. I hope all of you know how to find ratio of x, y, and z. Yaha se x, y, z ka ratio nikal sakte hum. Uh, let's equate it to some value which is a multiple of 3, 6, and 8. Hai na? Coefficient 3, 6, or 8 hai to koi multiple le lo 3, 6, 8 ka. So let's put it equal to 24. Yaha se hum keh sakte hai x ki value 8 a jayegi. Or y ki value 3 a jayegi. Or Z ki value kitni a jayegi? 4 a jayegi. So we have the values of X, Y and Z. 8, 3 and 4. Ye basically ratio aya hai, okay? So further it is given, how many mangoes will be there in a basket of mangoes which has the same cost as the other basket? Ab sari basket ka cost to same hi hai. So let's try to figure out what will be the cost of basket. So I can put the values of X, Y and Z in any of the equations. To main yaha par put kar deta hon Y or Z ki value. Now, y ki value 3 hai, z ki value 4 hai. Agar y ki value 3 hai, so 8 into 3 will be 24. 7 into z, z ki value 4 hai. 7 into 4 will be 28. So 24 plus 28 kitna ho gaya? 52 ho gaya. Ye ek basket ka cost hai. Ab wo keh rahe, how many mangoes will be there in a basket of mangoes? Ab ek mango ka cost kitna hai? Ek mango ka cost hai 4 rupees. Basket ka cost hai 52. So how many mangoes will be there? So 52 by 4, 13 mangoes will be there in one basket. I hope this question is clear to all of you. Yeah, thank you everyone.